Good evening, everyone. Welcome back. We're at the campus of Indiana State University. This is just a surreal day, to say the least. Three Sycamores, Christian Eubanks, Caleb Van Hooser, Jaden Musilli, have passed away after a horrific car crash Sunday morning. Two others, Amorion Dixon, John Moore, remain in critical condition. High issue president Dr. Curtis, AD Sherrod Klinkscales, and head football coach Kurt Mallory addressing the media a little earlier this afternoon. Here's some sound from that press conference with Klinkscales and Coach Mallory as the school continues to deal with this horrible tragedy. This university has been unbelievable in wrapping their arms around us. I was admire, and a man asked me if he could just pray with me, and I said, yes, I would, and I was so touched. And that has been emblematic of the people here in this community, and I'm just so grateful for that. I know coaches and all of our student athletes, and um, you know we're gonna become stronger from this. Um, those five young souls, who are always going to be thinking about them and will always love them and always be sycamores. But I thank everybody that's been a part of our program and supporting us and praying for us. There are no words to express how, how this is going. It's devastating loss to Musilee family, the Eubanks family, and the Van Hooser family. Our prayers continue to go out to Omarion and John as they recover. They'll be back. But they do have a road ahead of them. But they're at Methodist Hospital and getting stronger as we speak. Now, the Sycamore football team did not practice today. They are planning to practice tomorrow. This is a team and a program that will open the season one week from Thursday against North Alabama. Coach Mallory adamant about opening up the season on time today. Our own Martello just visited with the football team on Saturday over the weekend. They were so excited to start the season and go to work in the MVC football conference. I can tell you that plans are certainly going to be in the works to honor these players when the football season begins. Maybe some helmet stickers, possibly a logo, a patch. We're not sure. We will keep you posted as the Sycamore family continues to mourn 